Okay. So, how to create miscellaneous receipts? We have two types of receipts in Oracle receivables. One is standard receipt. Standard receipt can create against the customers and apply the receipt to open invoices. That is one step. Create standard receipt for unapplied receipts. Create standard receipt for on account receipts. Create a standard receipt for unidentified receipt. So when it comes to miscellaneous receipt, miscellaneous receipts like a other income, it is not related to any open receivable income, like company investments, interest, refunds, stock sale. Example. Reliance company, Reliance Industries company, around 20 plus years back or 30 plus years back, they invested some amount in the Asian Paints company as an investment purpose. Recently, Reliance Industries company sold out that investment shares they got the big amount. Then Reliance Industries company should not show that as a sales revenue or sales okay, based amount received. They need to show their in books as a other income, as a investment income. Okay, right. Required setups. We need to define the miscellaneous receipt GL account in GL chart of account values window as a revenue account as a type. Then define receivables activity. So if you go to receivable activity, go to setup and maintenance. Search the manage receivable activity. If you go here, you can see the activity type. Let me type here Anjani. Okay, I already created miscellaneous income for running batch. So I given the name miscellaneous income, I recorded as a combination. If you want to define, click the add symbol and choose the exact activity type, miscellaneous cash, you can define the activity. How to create a miscellaneous receipt? Go to receivables. Go to accounts receivable. Then go to create a receipt. System will show default standard. Choose the miscellaneous. This page behavior will change. If you observe standard time, customer data, or customer information showing here, when you choose the miscellaneous, customer information disappearing. As I told you, customer data is non-mandatory. Select the BU name. Receipt method we already created. Give the receipt number as a M001. Select the receivable activity, which you defined as a mandatory setup. Give the amount. Let us take 55,000 INR. Then customer data is not required. You may not find data. So here you can see the reference payment received. 
some basic information. Okay, right. So you can do the save. You can do the save. Receipt number. Here, you don't see the like a standard receipt uh, window like uh, unapplied amount, unaccount amount, unidentified amount, applied amount, that information dashboard you are not able to see here. You can record here paid by, okay, some name like A, B, C or you can write it. And save it if required, but it is the blank field. Then, if you see here, status is confirmed, then go and uh, check the edit distributions before uh, initiate the create accounting. So, your receivable activity level you choose in the miscellaneous revenue or miscellaneous income combination, right? That will be displayed here. If you want, you can override. Then you can delete it if don't require, reverse it after created. If you don't like to keep this one, post to ledger, then you can see the general entry. In Excel sheet, I have mentioned, confirmed cash debit, your miscellaneous income, credit. So confirmed cash defaulting from receipt class method bank account level. Miscellaneous receipt we recorded through receivable activity. Right. Once accounted, we can run the miscellaneous receipts created report. If it is not available, you can develop the OTBA report as a miscellaneous receipt. AR user can able to run the how many receipts are created particular month be used specific. Okay, then if you want to verify the general entry in the GL, you can go to general accounting, manage general, verify the your general batch name basis, entry name basis, you can check in the posted status because of the September month is period out. If you run the trial balance report in GL, you can see the your miscellaneous income as a credit side because of the revenue. Okay, right. Let me check the any receipt available or not. Right. So go to Regular navigation tools, scheduled process. Click here, schedule new process. Miscellaneous. So if you don't find the report here, your miscellaneous receipts, okay, as a separate report, you can develop the report as a OT way in the reports and analytics. You can you can uh, assign to respective users and roles. AR users can able to run that report from scheduled process to verify how many miscellaneous receipts got created. Okay, right. So, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for your time.